Hello everybody, this is Sean Emerson, and I've got Cisco with me again. And today we're going to be reviewing some um, little noodle things that we found in the instant noodle aisle of TNT Market. Um, both of them are supposedly self-heating, which I found kind of cool. I, I have no idea what it says on any of them. Um, all we've basically been able to figure out is the English ingredients here. Um, it does have river snail flavor in it, which is a thing. Um, and this one has a really strong order, odor that reminds me of um, animal pee. Um, like from the zoo or like a circus or something. It's kind of gross. And this one here is a vegetarian hot pot for Cisco, um, so that he doesn't have to actually eat any of the gross snail stuff. I've taken the plastic off of these to make it easy for us, and we'll be starting with this one. Um, this one here just has its in English ingredients on the left. Chili and broad bean and um, like a bunch of vegetables and stuff. Anyway, you can take a look at that if you want. Um, now the how to eat instructions on the back are not in English. Get that to focus. So we're thinking we just stir everything in, um, add things if you want, put in water, it's 15 of something, let it wait, and then you're done and there's stars and it's a miracle and everything's good. So we're going to get this one started first and while it's heating we'll deal with the other one because I suspect it's going to smell really gross. Let's open that up, sauce packet, ooh, we can use some chopsticks, we don't have to use ours. Okay, it just keeps going. Okay, heating bag not to be eaten. Where the temperature contains it gets very hot, keep away from the fire. Fire directions are labeled carefully. Oh, they're not in English. I guess it's used immediately after it's been opened, so that that just does it. So where are those instructions? Okay. To mix it all together first, and then put your packet in. I'm going to pause the video and take a look at this in Google Translate and see if I can do anything. And we're back. We translated this, um, open the flavor sauce packages, mix it together with some water, everything that was in the bottom, put your other flavors packages in, have them all in the top tray, put the heater thing in the bottom tray, just cover it with cold water, it'll start heating up immediately, like within 15 seconds, cover everything and let it cook, and it'll be ready in 15 minutes. So I'm going to get ready with that bottom tray things got some noodles and the sauce How much water did you want in yours? Because it's just to do it to taste. I'm not sure. Oh god. Like it smells good, it's just getting chilly all over me. Add your little bit of water to that. Okay. 
I'm opening up the other package here. Ooh. There's a lot of delicious vegetables and stuff. We might want to add more water if this is going to be a hot pot. A little bit complicated. I'm glad that Google Translate exists, otherwise I wouldn't be able to try food like this. This is something different. Okay, that's mixed up. All of our flavors are added. We should put that in a separate bowl while we did that. Reminder to anyone who ever tries one of these, that would probably make your life easier. That's tasty. It's got a very strong residual heat, though. It's like Charlie King style with all those dried um, chilies and stuff on the top of the hot pot. It's got a little pad in there. And add our cold water. Said it should start immediately, and just enough to cover it. Oh yeah, it's it's kind of puffing up right away. And that's going to start heating up and boiling the water away. So well, it does that? We cover it up. Oh there, it goes. oh, there it goes. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, we want to chop that heat. That's that's a one. Yeah. Chop the lid down, put that on there. We're going to set that aside for 15 minutes while we work on the uh, on the other one, and then we'll come back to taste. That's more, and I can't move it. We'll just have that bubbling in the background. Okay. And then mine, which is the snail one. We've already shown you the back and everything. The other one was whistling because there was chopsticks on top. Okay. Put food in the little one with the packet seasonings. Cold water in the little one. Or warm water in the little one. Then cold water in the bottom with a packet. And then wait. I don't even need to translate this one. It's going to be the same. And that guy looks so happy. I hope I'm that happy when I'm eating sea snails. <clears throat> I get a fork. You got little chopsticks. We get another one of these. You keep stealing them for me. They're great. Cisco keeps these. Uses them for his work. Like, like to eat lunch, not, not as like a work hobby. <laughs> They're super secret work project. It's your secret work hobby. Oh, that smell is getting stronger as we open these things. Smelly. Mm. At least the, the hot pot looks and is smelling delicious so far. Okay. I love the smell. No, I, I, I don't. Nothing else is in... is in English. Just that we love the smell. So I'm going to open that one first. Oh. It looks like the chili powder from the other one. Gross, get over there. Oh my god, it's all over me. Why did I do that? Oh my god, bad ideas. Mm. This tastes like <coughs> salty stock. Got some pickled vegetables. This is pickled vegetables. Oh, 
those are snails. Yeah, that's definitely a snail. Mm. Pickled snails. It's got a very distinct smell to it. It's right? not as bad as it was coming straight out of the box. Yeah, when you took off the seasoning, it smelled gross. Oh, chili oil. Yes, make that edible. I have like one bite and then probably add some garlic to this. What is this? Another package. This one's not perforated. And some beans. Oh no, peanuts. Okay. Wow, that looks pretty good. Delicious. Okay. Now you can add some water to that. Oh, what's that one? I missed a package. I'm not sure it doesn't actually say anything on it. doesn't say how much to use, so I'm just going to use too much. I'd rather water down snails so I don't have to taste them, really. Oh, and then there's crunchy topping. I'm going to put my crunchy topping on afterwards. So, same as last time. Put that in there. Get us some cold water. And then just cover it in the cold water. Oh, and there it goes. Seal this one before it gets deadly hot. Other chopsticks on that. And this should start steaming for us shortly. Oh. There it goes. Ooh. Nice steaming hot pot. Food should be really good. The other one's not expelling as much steam anymore and it, it feels hot, but it's still got like nine minutes left. So this one here will cook until it's ready as well, and then we'll get back to it when the first one's done. Um, for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the cut. Okay, and we are back 15 minutes later. Um, steam has stopped coming out of it, and I can actually pick it up now. Um, the label on the bottom got all gummy and stuck to our counter, which is kind of a treat, but I'll open that up. Mmm, and that smells absolutely delicious. Okay, do we want to take that out, or do we just leave that in there? Um, we could just leave it in let's there. Just leave that in there. Okay, so that's the first one. Since it's yours, you can have the first try. Also, because I don't think you want the snails. Mmm, snail. It looks like it got nice and hot. I mean, they were both, like, pushing out a lot of steam. Um, it's using one of those little things that you find in ration packs. I should get a ration pack and open it for here. Let me know what you guys think about that. Hmm. Lots of chili flavor. Here. Very spicy. Lots of spice, good rounded flavor, a little bit fatty. Mm. Mm, oily. I want to add Put like good. green onions and soy sauce. A lot of chili in that. Mm -hmm. mm. Very spicy. Mm -hmm. Very, very spicy. Mm. Could use some garlic. But mm. other than that, very good. 
I can see why it says to add other ingredients. Mm -hmm. Just to spice up your flavors and stuff. Mm. But overall, better than expected. What do you think of the value of it? Well, can you remember what we paid for these? Somewhere around five or six Canadian dollars. Which isn't bad for the amount of pickled vegetables and stuff you get, considering that it heats itself. And all you really need is a bottle of water. And then you can um, have a little vegetarian hot pot. No protein in this one, but it would probably do for lunch. Mm -hmm. like, I, I like pickles too. I mean, I've got a cupboard full of little pickled vegetables and stuff. Um, hmm. Definitely edible. I will be oh, eating the whole thing. After. There's lots of stuff. Mm. Lucky. I'm not sure if I'm going to be eating the whole thing of mine. We've got about three minutes left on the um, snails, and then I will be trying those. For now, I'm just going to let Garrett eat, and I, I will be scared of this until it's time to have them. Hey, everybody. As you saw there, we had some filming issues with the end of our video. Um, it actually even took me a while to be able to find some more of the self-heating um, instant meals so that I could film an ending to this video for you. Um, I wasn't able to actually find the same ones again, so I couldn't refilm anything. Um, and really, I don't want to have any river snails again. Um, well, they did not have a bad flavor and were kind of like chicken. A um, little bit enjoyable. The smell was overwhelming. Um, a bit like a circus. Um, the other flavors actually weren't so bad at all, and so we picked up some um, new ones. I'm going to feature these in another video eventually. For now, I hope you enjoyed seeing our reactions to those previous ones. Um, like, subscribe, check out some other videos, and um, keep watching. Um, there's more things in store. I've worked on a few other videos. Um, there's a ration pack one recently. I don't know if that's up yet. It's the time of me putting up this video. It probably is. Who knows? I'm filming this after filming the other one, but before I've actually done any of the work. Um, we got a bunch of random candies from Japan that we're going to try as well. Um, and a Lithuanian ration pack that's coming in the future. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry about that issue that we got midstream. So I threw the, what together I could. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Again, this has been Sean. Bye!